There are a lot of dangers you have to be aware of when you travel abroad. Anything from pickpockets to petty theft to holdups to robberies. These are all things done by human beings. In some parts of the world, you have to be careful with dogs. I would have never thought in my travels, which I know things happen, things can happen, I never would have thought that I would be attacked by dogs. I'm in Tarawa, the capital of Kiribati, where I've read about the dangers of hostile and angry dogs. I can kind of understand the hostility of some of these dogs because it's very hot, there's not much space to move, overpopulation is a problem here. Let's just start with the story. Last night, I went out to grab something to eat, went to a local restaurant, have a quick bite. I didn't feel like making anything at home. Unfortunately, I chose a bad time to come back as it was pretty dark. It's a very long walk from the main road to my Airbnb. Usually there's a few people walking around, but I just happened to be unlucky where there was nobody around. It was just me. But I was lucky enough to be spotted by eight to nine wild dogs barking at this dark figure in the middle of the road, wandering by himself. Next thing you know, I see these nine dogs hovering closer to me, barking really angrily. And one thing I noted was that these dogs were not just barking at me. They were ready to attack. And as they became closer and as they started to surround me, I sensed that they were ready to attack. Survival instincts picked up and I took note of their energy the first thing I could think of was run. Now I'm no Olympic star, but I did manage to outrun the dangers of all eight to nine dogs. First of all, I was running with sandals. And because of this, one dog managed to nip me right on the ass. Thankfully, my Airbnb was close enough. I may have ran for a total of 10 to 15 seconds before I made it back to where the family was staying. Dogs were shooed away and I was able to reach my house take off my shorts and see that I did have a surface wound. When I got home, I cleaned up the wound. Thankfully, I had a first aid kit, but um, it was it was definitely a very scary experience. I went to the hospital today. Thankfully, there's a hospital here in Tarawa. It doesn't look clean. It's not exactly up to the same standards I'm used to back in America, but thankfully, I met two Taiwanese doctors who took care of me, diagnosed it as a surface wound, cleaned it up, patched me up, gave me some antibiotics, and I was ready to go. I kicked off my sandals when I ran because the sandals were holding me back, but had I tripped on myself, the night would have definitely turned out a lot differently and I would have had to cut off my trap. Wild dogs are a serious problem here. And I didn't just read this online, but The Sex Lives of Cannibals is a book that I read about this guy that lived in Tarawa in the 90s for several years. And he mentioned many instances of wild dogs roaming around the island. There are wild dogs everywhere. Not everyone is hostile. But there seems to be a, there seems to be something I notice about packs of dogs, whether four or more, they always roam together like a gang. I call them gangs. They all seem to work together and sense the hostility with them. In Nauru, it's the same problem. I saw five dogs barking at moving vehicles, running across and into them, chasing after them. In Nauru and even here, there have been many cases of dogs just biting people, biting children even killing children. It's a huge problem here in Tarawa, where land is scarce and the heat is intense. And unfortunately, with the wrong time and the wrong place, I was lucky enough to be chosen by a pack of dogs and I was attacked. I, I'll be quite honest, man, I was shooken up and pissed off at the same time. But this is something I knew, this is something I expected. And they say all the time, make sure you carry a stick. I didn't have a stick on me. And I'll be quite honest, sticks are not that easy to come by. Sticks aren't laying down at your convenience to use. I don't see anybody walking around with sticks. But as a tourist and as a foreigner, I think it's best to have your own stick as long as you're here. But the best advice to, to take when you're here is definitely do not travel or walk alone at night, especially in unlit places. Because where I was attacked, there were no lights and there were definitely no people around but me. I've been through a lot of my travels from being rained on on a motorcycle to rupturing my Achilles tendon to some interesting situations with scams in Jamaica, being afraid of being abducted in Guatemala. But this is an experience on its own. I usually post edited videos of my travels and my experiences. This is very much a travel experience and I am happy to share this with the world of my experiences but also to take warning when you come to Kiribati, come to this island, or go to Nauru, and even some islands in the Pacific, the dogs here are very much wild, and they are very dangerous. Take care, don't go out at night, and if you do, carry a stick. If not, 
Try to find somebody to walk with you or find a guide. Don't get bit on the ass like I did and stay safe.